Okay, in this video we're just going to look at focusing modes on Lumix cameras and specifically in this video we're going to be looking at the Panasonic GH6. So we're looking at DFD focusing but most of the focus modes are the same across the um, kind of brand of cameras. So what we'll do is we'll just have a quick look into the focusing menu and to do that on my camera I'm set up just as if it was sort of out of the box and this is our focus mode option here so if we click into there you can see I've got all of the focus options available to me and the, the reason for that is because I'm set into one of the photography modes which is shutter priority and if you're set in a different mode say movie mode or you're in a different focusing um, mode than I am it's quite possible that some of these will be greyed out but we'll just kind of go through them and um, we can cover why they might be greyed out so if we go from right to left the first one actually uh, that you'll probably find may be greyed out is actually because it's um, only usable in the photography modes and it's only usable in um, the sort of single focusing option um, if you're not sure about the focusing options on here, then um, I'll leave a link up in the corner and you can have a look at that. But essentially, uh, pinpoint focus is only available for, in the photo mode and with that single option. So if we jump into that one first, um, I'll, I'll just go over briefly kind of what it does. So you can kind of select an area. Let's say we want to select the bear's head. And then we can click in and then you can see we get this kind of picture in picture and we can actually use the wheels to zoom out and we could go say right into his eye and zoom on there and then we know that his eye is in shot and it'll always come back every time we focus for our reference and I've done a little bit more of a sort of in-depth video on this so if you want to see that I'll link to it up in the corner and you can take a look but very simply as an overview it's just a mode that can give us a really, really, really sort of, um, you know, like a, a super, um, super accurate kind of focus on just one tiny point in the in a composition. And then we'll jump over to the next one. This, like I say, is just going to be an overview of each one. We're not going to go super in depth on everyone. There are videos on on other bits. And the next one we've got is our one area focus. So this is quite a common one for us to use. It's just, uh, we, we can click on that and then you can see we've got our square box focus and we can move it around with the joystick, make it bigger, make it smaller. Um, I've done a video on screen overlays and how to change all the focuses and things. So um, I'll link that above, but yeah, we've got options to you know move it around. We can touch the focus. And this one is as simple as anything that's in the square is going to be focused on that's our focus priority so if our bear's head is in the square he's the focus to be um he's the priority to be focused on and then if the camera drifts away and sort of hovers over this man then he becomes the focus and if it goes into the background that becomes the focus so you've got to keep you know whatever it is in the focus so you could do that by sort of touching or you know however it is your um you're planning on focusing but you've just got to make sure that they're inside that box and then the next one is one area plus which is very similar to one area we've got we've only got two size options on it but essentially um, it gives us a little bit more leniency on where the subject falls in the box so if they fall slightly outside of it it still will generally focus on on that thing so if it was sort of in the middle and it just falls a little bit outside of it it, the camera will sort of pick up that it, it's still technically within the bounds of our focus area so that that can be quite useful if um, things are moving around a little bit too much from one area or you, you could potentially increase the one area box you've got a couple of options to kind of uh, go with there um, and then our next one is the zone focus and if we jump into that one you can see it's more of a sort of a long box than a square you can sort of shrink it down a little bit more it's a bit um, a bit more like a kind of a hexagon shape and you can bring it back out and I found this a really useful one for video work where I know people are going to be passing within a, a certain strip of the frame and it's um, yeah it's quite a good one for if you've got more of a, um, a composition where you know people are going to be moving between a kind of a longer bit of the frame rather than sort of placing a square so 
it, it can be quite a quite a useful uh, quite a useful one to use. I mean, a lot of these you, you you just kind of practice them in different scenarios and just pick whichever one you think is going to be the best. But I I found that I I do use zone quite a lot. Um, zone horizontal and vertical. This is one that probably will be greyed out if you're well. It will be greyed out if you're a video shooter. Um, it's only available in photography, and if we jump into that, it's essentially just one long strip where we can kind of focus along. So we can focus on that strip or over here. And if you actually push down on the joystick and then press down, it will turn into a um, uh, more of a vertical plane. Or well, it's a horizontal plane, but we can move it vertically. And then we can again zoom sort of within that. It will just pick areas within it to uh, to kind of focus on. And again, if we click down and press left or right, we've got this kind of vertical plane that can be moved, um, move left and right. And then the next one, if we jump into, I'll be honest, I don't use that one very much. The um, horizontal, horizontal and vertical zone, but it's um, it is there as an option. Uh, full area AF is the next one. So in this, essentially, what we're doing is just telling the camera, you pick out what you feel like is an interesting part of the frame. So you, you just kind of press it and it will just pick things out. So it's not always exactly in the center of the frame. You know, if I'm pressing it here, it thinks like this bit is the most important. And then we click it again and then it's thinking maybe that. Uh, the top of the bear's ear, it's, as you can see, it's a bit kind of finicky, but you, there's no real reason why you should ever be using that, really, because you should know what you want to focus on and you should know what the subject is in the shot. Um, you know, maybe if things are, you know, it's your kids or something and they're going crazy in a room and you're trying to take photos of them, it could be useful, but it's more of one that maybe you would team up with the, um, the human or face tracking. Um, it, on its own, I would wouldn't really say it's that useful but what you can actually do is um, you can press anywhere on the screen whilst you're in it and then now you've got this kind of um, the one area again and then when you want to get rid of one area you can just press AF off and then it goes back to doing that to back to the full area so it, it's got its uses but I think it has to be with other things and then the tracking mode, we're in um, single focus. So this is actually not going to do anything. It's completely pointless in single focus, to be honest. <laughs> you, um, you're basically just using it as a one area focus point. But if you, uh, so like if I focused on there and then I started taking some shots. Uh, actually, <laughs> let me do this so it's a bit, uh, uh, maybe I could put it in, I'll put it in burst or Actually, no, I won't put it in burst. I'll just put it in shutter, but bring the um, bring that up a little bit. Um, yeah, essentially, you know, you you can focus on um, on points, and then when you move it, it sort of doesn't make any difference because you're in spot focusing. So um, it's it's not actually tracking. So if we go into um, continuous, and then you can see where I've got the focus pulled down it's actually following it or you know attempting to so as we go um, you know you can click on it you can move it around and it will actually try and focus on that subject and the same if we go into the movie mode um, I can actually just click down and then this actually has become our subject to focus on so you can see we can move them around then it'll leave the frame <laughs> and then it will actually just switch back then into um, uh, just a, a general area that it thinks is of interest but you can see oh, it's actually followed him back into the frame as well that's quite good so um, yeah you can see it, it knows it's trying to track him and he kind of when he leaves it just goes back and, and looks for other things but it's uh, yeah it's more of a video or a continuous focus um, focus mode that one it's not really as as useful in anything else um, and now we're in the movie mode actually you can see if we click back into there you'll be able to see our pinpoint and our um, our zone vertical and horizontal has actually disappeared now and then um, in the in the next video we'll, we'll kind of cover um, the AF detection options and because I just wanted this to be like a really brief overview of the um, the focusing mode so hopefully that's helped if it has give this video a like 
If you want to see more videos about the Panasonic GH6 then please check out the playlist on this channel and please subscribe.